We move on now to the next presentation. It's a deep tech company called John the Tech. Uh, and we're going to listen to Leif Bohr, who is CEO of, of John the Tech. And uh, John the Tech was founded in 2008 and develops products based on nanotechnology. Welcome. Thank you. We'll start with the presentation as you described. We went to the NASDAQ 2016 and we have went through a lot of uh, challenges with our product, but i like to present today the actual status of where we are today and where we're heading. Um, we have so far three applications. Uh, design is ready and it's approved. So we have three different applications that could really get access to over 1.3 billion users, end users. So it's a tremendous uh, uh, volume that we can achieve if we go through. I will present uh, the applications later on. Why Yundetech? Why look at us? We are a deep tech company with a portfolio where we really have nanotechnology as a base. Uh, started in Uppsala and went to Stockholm City to, to, to develop the company further. Uh, right now, we have a large uh, addressable market in Asia with extremely good potential to grow. Uh, that's why we can talk about 1.3 billion end users. We have a unique design of our IR sensor. The most of our competitors with IR sensors is really a thermopile with a horizontal design. We have vertical design that's a really a benefit uh, when we talk about scale-up production and uh, to really uh, influence the sensor signal and everything. Uh, solid go-to-market strategy. I'll go to that one a little bit in a later picture, but really saying that we have a structure and a way forward uh, during 2016 that we have challenged and um, designed to change. And this has made a really huge impact where the company are today. Uh, well, our main topic right now in the company is really to make the tech transfer of high volume production to a Europe European uh, PCB manufacturing uh, unit. Uh, we have a small scale uh, pilot production in Stockholm uh, together with an institute in Germany and we need really to, to make this uh, product fly through a PCB manufacturer that really can create volumes for the future. Um, Oh, technique picture. Um, why sensors? If we look uh, at the environment today, we are really consuming energy, uh, batteries everywhere, power consumption, and really, to you have t two different uh, suggestions to, so to solve this: create better batteries or to save with the battery, to really use it when you need it and not when not needed. So our really aim to the market is really to support a low consumption of uh, electricity. And there our sensor can really make a huge difference how, how to use the battery more efficient. We have a lot of areas where we have uh, questions and discussions where we could use our sensor. Uh, even in uh, agriculture, it looks kind of strange, but really sensors is getting everywhere in the business. and. Uh, we are to be there, to be one of the competitors to, to apply the market. IR sensors. Uh, why Yundetech sensors? Uh, we have a, a really good uh, product. Uh, I can just show you. This is 600 of them. Very, very small. 600 small sensors on a plastic foil. Uh, we don't need any special equipment. Uh, despite of the, uh, of the new product, we have the nano-wire plating that's special. Otherwise, it's really PCB manufacturing sites. We can use and utilize equipment already on the market. So this is really great. So getting to bigger volume is not uh, needed a lot of capex, not of investments. We can use what we have in Europe to really make the volumes fly. It's small, it's thin, it's extremely thin. If you put five together, we have a millimeter. So it's nothing. Um, it's totally passive. You can put the sensors in an application. It don't consume any power at all until you activate it through temperature increase, human factor. 
that really influence the sensor and start up the function, then this sensor signal will tell the application what to do. Start, a, start an engine, start a light in the room, or start a computer. Unique properties. I mentioned that this uh, sensor is designed with thermopile and it's vertical. This means that when we redesign the sensor size, we really influence and decide how the sensor signal should appear. If we need a higher signal, we can increase, increase the size of the sensor. So it's scalable fully. And cost efficient. efficient. It's a small plastic roll, really cheap to buy as a starting material. And then we have 98% is plastic. It's a few threads. It's some million threads in this chart, but it's so small you can't even see it. So really using a low volume of metal, creating a, a really flexible sensor. That's why Umtetec is on, on the target for many people. Go-to-market implementation. We have implemented a new strategy. We had uh, a couple of years ago, we discussed with um, design houses in Europe and Nor Nordic countries. And um, we had some small volume discussing with them how to create the function and then sell it to the market. But really seeing the, the volume production is not in Nordic companies. It's really in Asia. So we have um, really got into the business with Novel Unicorn as a company in China. They have really the infrastructure to support us to really sell the product. They have the, the con contacts with the big manufacturing, the design house, and we have so far uh, uh, several contacts that we're really evaluating right now, and I will talk of one of them. So they're getting access to the design house, and these companies really have access to the market. And then we, you could discuss about the different application. One of the strategic partners that we really have turned, turned the wheels a lot is Ofilm. They have really, in, if you talk about volume on uh, sensors, uh, biometric identific identification, touch panels, smartphone, smartphones in cameras, if you look at Samsung or whatever, uh, Samsung do doesn't uh, design or manufacture the small camera unit. They buy it. And really getting access to the module house that creates this camera function and put this sensor beside it, it's really a new function came into life. So that's good. So they have a volume production out to the market now. With this uh, strategic partnership, we can really access the market and the selling organization is there already. So we can focus on delivering good product to this system. I started with discussing three applications. One of them that we have designed, uh, the sensor evaluation is done by Ofilm. Uh, the sensor prototype production is done. We have made several of them and tried them. And uh, the first one is really to access key lock. Uh, in China, it's very casual that they use uh, batteries in the handle for the keys, key lock, and this battery has to be removed and changed a lot, several times, uh, approximately once a year. And with, with our sensor on site, you really just activate the battery when someone is near the handle. You don't need to have it on, on, on the fly all day. So really putting our small sensors for a, a few bucks you can really change the function and the extend the battery lifetime. Right now, the, only this handle sells around 50 million uh, a year. And the total market for security is uh, roughly 1 million sensors a day. So the volume is there. So we like to really get access to that, that volume and increase our share of that part. Still, we're waiting for the production, but I come back to that. This, the second one that where we had really good success, we have sensor evaluation, we have proof of, proof of concept, uh, the pr prototype production is done, and now we are getting into the laptops. As many knows, the 50% of the consumption in the computer is driven by the sh screen. To really use the screen when you're there and not when you're going for a coffee is really saving batteries. 
the laptop uh, manufacturers really trying to get the battery um, the utilization to improve, but not to, uh, but not to extend the weight of the laptop. Really, putting our sensors is really a, both a security and the extension of lifetime for the battery. And this, we have a module done uh, with OFILM, and this is ready to implement in the laptop. Uh, but this, the red row on the, <laughs> on the corner is really, we need to get a mass production volume in Europe on, on track first. But the, the, the concept is there. To really confirm that this type of uh, function in the laptop is okay and is on, for the market, we have been qualified uh, in the ecosystem symposium by Intel. Uh, it's, not, it's hard to see on the picture, but Yondotech is one of many suppliers that potentially can be on the journey for Intel installation. We can offer um, a module to install in the screen uh, through OFILM, and now we, we haven't been qualified as the preferred delivery, but we are on track to be one of them uh, that uh, Intel want to use for the future. This is very important. And the third application is really connected to temperature measurement. Uh, we have designed uh, a small sensor. This is unfortunately a little too big. We like to make it even smaller to really fit in an AirPod. To be able to have the presence detection, that's already there, but really to measure the temperature while running, walking, to get the sens sensors in the air AirPod would really help uh, taking the next step in technology. Uh, even though going to the camera, uh, camera module and put in our sensors to, to, by distance, measure the temperature of, of, uh, of head or stomach, you can really check the temperature. And uh, it's a sad story around COVID-19, but this could really help us to make a self-check self before leaving to work. So it's a simple installation with a module that could be installed in a telephone. We have the calibration done in the range of the temperature of the people, and then we can go down. With this 98% plastic, we can really check the temperature down to 0.3 degrees. That's good enough for making decisions to stay home or go to work. We see that to even improve the signal and go down in uh, in uh, tolerances or really make it a better fit. We are right now developing a smaller size, evaluating how to make this even smaller in parallel, making the, the three millimeter work. This will make us uh, even more competitive for the future when we go to really, really small areas. Now the main topic from Yund for Yundetec right now, it's high volume production. We had a uh, verified uh, production flow with a bill of material and everything done by German Institute supporting us to manufacture. Uh, that was done in May, June last year. Then we saw that now we know how to produce this in a full, full scale, but not in full volume. Then we decided to really start in the journey to go into Switzerland and uh, getting support from a PCB manufacturing to get to really, really high volumes. As I mentioned earlier in the presentation, we need a couple of million a day. That's the target. It's not 10,000 a year. It's a huge volume. We have strengthened the R&D and production organization. We really need... When I started the company two years ago, we were eight people. And talking about two, three million sensors a day, it's, it's tough with eight people, so we need more. Now we are approximately 18 people. And we think that's okay, maybe we, the target is 25, but really strengthening the organization to really twist and turn every angle of the joint ventureship for the tech transfer uh, journey with, uh, with the production unit. So we have confirmed how to make it happen. We have a strict strategic partnership with a Swiss company that really turned the wheel much, much faster. So we go together to the to Asia mar market. We have a lot of the process steps are really performing really well, but we are not th there yet. So we we'll need to complete the take transfer to really make it the high volume every day with the perfect quality. 
This is a new type of energy. We, don't can, we can't copy anyone because this is, has never been done before. So everything that's developed is done for the first time. This is a challenge, but we are getting there. Thank you. And why looking more at Jundotec is really, we have a, new, a unique uh, technology. We have a confirmed market, really high volume market in uh, China as a supplier for the rest of the world. We have a solid go-to-market strategy that we're working on that feels really, really good. And we can even get wider than Ofim. Right now, it's more than enough for us. And um, really using all our efforts at Yontech right now is creating the tech transfer uh, platform so we can really take orders. Thank you. Well. Thank you very much, Dave Borg. Um, you mentioned Europe several times. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, how important is it for you as a company that you manufacture in Europe in terms of investment, investor interest? I believe that uh, we have some... Uh, my history from other companies is really going, to, going abroad. Uh, Europe is more or less, if you have a final product, everything is done, you can make a copy everywhere. Then it's a, f a question of volume and, and price but really to make the last few steps to make the product really ready for high volume production, uh, we need an agile site mm -hmm. that really can, can help us to take the last two, three steps to, to make it happen. And Switzerland, if you look at the environment, how they work, how they think, it's not so far from Sweden. Mm -hmm. So this joint venture has really helped us to get a good discussion and an evaluation of the product process. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the environment, uh, how, to, how about recyclability of your products? When, uh, when its, its use has come to its end, what happens with what you uh, put in the product? This is uh, really the destruction, or it's 98% plastic, so it's, uh, it's no issue to really recycle or to, to have an ecosystem life. in it. Ecosystem, no, no. Yeah, so yeah. Excellent, thank you very much. Uh, I have one final question from, from the viewers, this one. Uh, what's the next milestone that you're looking forward in your company to? The really good milestone. Uh, if I go back in one picture, uh, we have the last on the picture, high volume production. Prototype production. Not getting millions out, but getting a functional sensor or some functional sensors in the new flow is the first step that we're aiming for. Then we can ramp up and yield improvement, everything. But Really, the first step that I would create as a success is really making the proto prototype production running. And in your, in your happiest dreams, when would that happen? Uh, I, would, I wish I could answer that one. Uh, we have a lot of challenges. It's a new product. No, we can't copy anything. Mm -hmm. We have to design from the beginning. We have progress and we have a really good uh, six-month plan now to, to achieve a lot of progress. Uh, exactly when the prototype production is on, I need to come back on that one. Mm -hmm. But it's, um, we have progress. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much and best of luck.